People are weird. People are weird. If people see you opening your apartment door, they will try to close them so you don't have to cross paths. Just like be outside. Like getting itchy staying inside all the time. <laughs> the only time I wear uniforms was for my law classes because you know you have to just put them in the black and white, you're going to the courthouse or anything like that. I thought when we said we're coming to fish, we were coming. To, we're like coming to fish fish take the fish out of the water bring them home and cook them i believe in you me you me you me you me channel and welcome back to another video in today's video i decided to do a little something different and the reason being is that sometimes i get these questions asked sometimes i don't always get to reply to them so it's not a q and i'm just gonna go not in depth just the little things really um i'm just gonna do top 10 things that i find I don't want to say weird it was just out of the norm when i f a little abnormal like from moving from jamaica coming to the u.s like uh, that's a little weird <laughs> okay i'm gonna tell you the first one there's no fruit trees on the sidewalks there's no fruit trees that us as kids growing up in jamaica could just walk from walk from school and you have oranges you have mangoes you have apples and mind you 90 percent of those are owned by people <laughs> they're on people's property but there's no no trespassing sign and the community just the community and those neighbors just like take care of you like they will even stop you and be like hey you want some apple you want some mangoes come over the trees ripening off all this stuff and just let me give an example of what I find that that was very strange. So we were in Missouri. It was my first year or second year. I think it was my first year on the J1 program, right? And the girls and I that were staying at the time at the house, we were coming from our third job, like third shift in the night. Um, I think it was I was at Price Shopper and some of them were at Walmart and different grocery stores, you know. So it was like midnight coming home. And it was off I-76 and there was this apple bee off that strip directly to your right coming back and quite frank there were some apple trees and I saw it first I was like girl there's apple there's apple and <laughs> we went crazy on those apple trees it was just like they're not the best of apples as you can tell you know because there's no like fertilizer or anything they just plant the trees and they bear apples and I was like, girls, there are apples, there, there are apples, there are apples. And we started picking the apples. And I was telling Billy about it the next day that, oh, you know, we have, we get apples and we saw apple trees. <laughs> and I was so excited. Billy was like, babe, that is trespass. That is private property. You could go to jail. You could, if they caught you. And I was like, what? I'm like, it's a apple tree and it's there. It's for everybody. <laughs> And that was one thing that I soon has to get like real acquainted with that no like that's people's stuff and you can get in trouble for it so that was kind of weird for me like and I understand why there are no fruit trees because you have to understand that the um, America is a capitalist state so if you are putting those things out where people can easily access them just imagine what would happen to the supply chain of those fruits that they are harvesting on a large scale to sell to use a person nobody would buy them because oh i can just walk down the street and get an apple so it's like the um the economics part of it like i i understand why they do it but it still doesn't make sense to me like get girls some fruit trees for christ's sake like just have walnuts and the things that rabbit not rabbit what's it called the things that climb the trees 
They look like rat. I don't know what they're called. Babe. Babe. What the what's the rat looking thing that climb trees outside called? Squirrel? Yes, squirrel. What? Yeah, that's the one. That's only stuff here for them to eat. What about us? We need some fruits, you know. But my second thing is what's up with the what's up with the person's grass here? Like the lawn. Like you will see sign everywhere, don't walk on grass, don't walk on my lawn. Like Time and effort. What's the Babe, <laughs> that's that's what's that's what's wrong. No, I'm not saying you don't put the time, but why do you put so much time in it? Why is it so All important? Right. Ninety percent of lawn mowers they're not just veterans; they're just people who are just very edgy and itchy about their grass and their lawn. And I'm, and and the I'm not talking about the old guy. I'm just saying in general, why is this grass? Why is God's grass so much of a like a big D. Like water the grass, yes, and cut it and let it grow. But you can't even put a blanket on the grass that God grass. Anyways guys, we go move on because um it's just crazy to me that this grass that our good savers provided us. And I can understand some people go out of their way to buy not even out of their way because they want their the fact that they need really nice lawn. They go to the store and buy this thing. I don't know what it's called, but it's like grass and you you plant it. It's like real grass, but I don't know the terminology for that kind. Of. And they would plant it and water it and then it grows really green and really pretty. So I can understand why some people get really itchy, but man, they're grass. Very important. Number three, and I think this one, guys, I don't know my neighbors. I don't know their name. I know that one set of them is uh, is gay on the other set. The lady lives with her 34-year-old son and the son's girlfriend. That's really all I know about them. I don't know their name. I don't have neighborhood, neighbor, neighbor connection. Like, people are weird. People are weird. If people see you opening your apartment door, they will try to close them so you don't have to cross paths. And it's n it has nothing to do with me and nothing to do with oh it's because you're black no it's they do it to each other too like people act weird you go to the laundry room and people it's just like i don't know i'm used to waking up in the morning and be like morning miss jen morning lange morning it's like your neighbors and your neighbors are not strangers to you like but here i don't know my neighbor's name and that that's just like mind-blowing to me on the topic of neighboring and like housing situation number four a person can stay in their house for days and not come out <laughs> and i'm not even kidding you guys you can stay in your house for days and not come out if you don't have anything it's not like and when i said jamaican i'm talking my experience grew up in rural country rural area jamaica you know, where all my doors are open every day, there's no AC unit, I'm on an island, it's hot, there's wind, there's everything. So, I go outside, I walk down, I go feed my pigs, I go, and I understand there's no pigs here to feed, but, like, sometimes I get out of the house just to go sit on the bench outside, enjoy the cool breeze, just because I don't want to get cloaked. And I find out that it is so easy to just sit in your house and not do anything because... One, you don't have neighbors. And if you have friends, you just come over and they drink, they play game, they have, they talk about whatever. And like, you're always in the house. And I'm like, that's so weird. That's very weird to me. Like, staying in the house drives me crazy. And I don't mean, oh, you have to go on the road. No, like literally just walk outside. I got a blanket, lay on the grass, look up in the sky. Just like be outside. Like getting itchy, staying inside all the time wait did i reach was that number four or number five the fifth thing is and this one is not even weird it's just very different because a lot of kids would have loved to have given this opp opportunity i found out there's no school fees in the u.s like there's no oh it's september morning i'm going to school you have to show up the august and pay your registration fee plus your school school fee which is your tuition and i'm not talking no little thank you thank you money like i'm talking real school fee like i didn't know that schools were like publicly funded here 
like you don't pay school fees until you decide to go to maybe a private in institution or um college here and that that just blows my mind because i've been paying school fees i've started um kindergarten when i was two years old i graduated kindergarten at six years old started primary school at six years old graduated primary school at 12 then started high school at 12 13 years old graduated when i'm 16 17 you know and then college and every single one of them my mom always have to either either give me the money to bring to my school to pay or pay 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 the school fee i've never had a time when i've never had to fund herself through school or parents fund us through school like i cannot remember a time like that and it's just mind-blowing to me guys if you see me looking there and there it's like i'm looking on my screen but the camera is up there so i'm sorry if it's throwing you off but i cannot remember a time when i've never had to pay for tuition and i think that's one of the biggest driving forces with kids in jamaica um their motive is always like school 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 non-stop school 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 be the best you can grow up do this because you don't want to waste your parents money like education is such a big thing you know that's like an that's a luxury to most jamaicans like your mom made this sacrifice for you to make sure you, they can have everything to put you through school all the labs all the tests all the field trips everything it's just so much so kids in jamaica most of them mind are wired to the fact that i cannot let my parents down you know i cannot let all this money just go to waste and i think that's a major difference with kids here who are not as focused and is not as um have anything looking forward to saying there's anything to lose but there was so much on the line for us going to school and on that note number six schools here well i'm not even going to go into the fact that school here doesn't wear uniform because every school until university and even some universities especially teachers college every one of them have uniforms <laughs> based on your faculty so when I was when I, when I was going to UA, the only time I wear uniforms was for my law classes because you know you have to just put something black and white. You're going to the courthouse or anything like that. But otherwise than that, it was just casual. Like whatever, you come out of bed in your pajamas, whatever, you go to school. But schools here, you just go to school and you wear whatever. You don't have uniforms, and th that is so weird to me. Like what? You don't have uniforms and it was such a pride thing too because you know students you know you know folks who go to different school based on their uniform and like schooling in jamaica is such a rivalry thing you know because you know that oh these top so you know that oh glenmore clarendon college and edwin allen are the three top schools in clarendon and oh i went to edwin allen and oh my rivalry is Clarendon College. You know, it's like we get this fun often when we see other people we're like, oh yeah, it's not the same as my school. You know, it's like everybody just dressed casually. You don't really know who go to which school, maybe. I don't know. But that's just very weird. Um the next one that I want to think that I see is very weird is oh my god. This one, ever really I wouldn't say bad experience, but it was just like why why when most american fish they don't take the fish home like didn't you like go there to catch a fish for like dinner oh my god like that's why i know that we're <laughs> it was so weird <laughs> let me give you an example so in 2018 after billy and i got married you know i spent some time with his dad and we went fishing and, you know we we're just there chatting up a storm having a good time catching fish and you know he was pulling his fish in first and i was like man i can't wait to have a bite you know and i put mine in and i got one out but it was so tiny and dad was like oh that one is so tiny and i ripped it off and i throw it back in the water and then i keep doing that but what i didn't realize was like dad was dad was catching big fish but he was like taking them off the hook and like you know just still chatting so I'm like, Dad, what are you doing? I'm like, you're not taking your fish. That was like, oh, I didn't know we're taking the fish. <laughs> and I started laughing because I'm like, wait, I thought when we said we're coming to fish, <laughs> we were coming. We we're like, coming to fish, take the fish out of the water, bring them home and cook them. 
I was there starting catching bigger fish and bigger fish. And I have a Ziploc, like a, um, a gallon bag, Ziploc bag. And I started putting fish in it. I bring home like one dozen fish. And then I was like, oh, I didn't know you were keeping them. So he started giving me his big sized fish. And I went home and I was still on J1. So we didn't have a fully functioned kitchen, but I went far in the bush and I scaled my fish and came home and seasoned them up. And good, and good night dinner. They were bluegill. It was my first time having those kind of fish as well. But I came home when I was talking to Billy. And, like everything. Like I, I, you will hear me say a lot. Like, oh, Billy said, or I talked to Billy because literally, he's kind of like my person. It's not kind of, he's my person. But anyways, um, I, I was talking to him and I was like, babe, why didn't dad take the fish? I was like, babe, fishing is not really for the fish. <laughs> and I'm like, then... I am being deceived because every time that I know that we want dinner or we're running low on protein or anything provision that's not going to cost us, we just take our our fishing line down to the river and catch our fish and we're not going down there for conversations and building and connection. We're going down there for the fish to come home to make dinner, you know, so it's just kind of weird. It's just kind of weird. And on that fishing note, why, what I found very, very weird. You have to have a license here for everything. Don't think for a second that, you know, I'm just going to go down to the creek, catch me some dinner. Um, Ma'am, you want the, the park rangers or whatever those people call fishing and wildlife services come pull up on you and charge to you because you didn't purchase permission or you weren't granted permission to fish out of the river that god provided so you could eat out of i don't think so what that blows my mind i'm like i don't know how we would survive as a family growing up if we needed license for everything because we do bird hunting we just make slingshots with like really strong rubbers and go into the orange field because bird love orange trees for some reason so we knew exactly where they were and we just aim for them and shoot them out of the tree or set traps for them on the floor, put in like the orange seed so we know they're going to come down. And the minute they stepped on it, I don't know how to explain that, but there's a string that pulls and ties onto their feet. So we did bird hunting. Fishing is a big thing for us. That's pretty much mostly the two main hunting that I've ever done growing up I know of people in Jamaica that do wild boar and you know deep sea diving and all that stuff but I'm just talking just going down to my river I, why would I need a license to go down to my river you know like we source water from the river for produce for cosmetic for not cosmetic for um what, what is the word I can't find the word for um I'll soon come back and tell you what that word is. But we source water to domestic, do domestic purposes, for personal purpose, for drinking. Because sometimes, believe it or not, we didn't have the best quality water where, oh, I'm just going to buy some water now. And, you know, no, we used to have this thing called a spring, where it's a natural water. And that would be my mom's favorite place to get water. But if the spring is dry, we just have to work with the river water and boil it, you know, to kill any bacteria in it or anything. Sometimes we don't have time to boil the water. You know, so I'm just thinking about like, what if we had was to purchase license for all those things? I don't know how we would make it, but here is very different. You need a license for anything. Yes, you have the right to hunt. You have the right to fish, not without paying Uncle Sam some, some shillings, you know, like there's nothing that's truly free. Oh God, yeah. well, sorry. Freedom isn't free. And you know how US is a free country well or was a, a free country i'm not gonna say it was so strong because honestly compared to a lot of countries u.s is still one of the most free countries especially when it comes to media freedom of speech and stuff like that but nothing is free when it comes to find as as i said you have to understand the logics that comes behind a capitalist state like nothing is gonna be really free you know but yeah, that was one of the weirdest thing. Like I was in Alaska and even as a resident, I needed license to fish. I went to Missouri. I had to buy license to go out on the boat to fish. Oh, and don't think you can have your nice boat and take it out on the lake. You have to have a permit to go out on the lake. Well, I, 
the link here is kind of different because it's man man-made so i can understand someone wanting revenue or, or some form of incentives from that but just kind of weird to me like some of the things here yeah i think i reach about eight or nine i actually lose count um if that's it then i can't think of anything more bizarre not even it's not even bizarre like some of the strangest thing really that happens oh before i forgot and probably this is gonna be the last one i still don't understand how taxes work here and it's crazy because i've never had to done deal with like tax returns or this like great intense form of taxes and maybe that is for me i've never owned a real job in jamaica because all my life i've been going from school to school you know so you have people who finished high school and then get a job and then go to college i did not stop i go straight through college and my last year in college i met billy so i did not have any form of like solid jobs in jamaica so i don't know how their tax system works or anything but i'm just saying from my experience because i don't have it but taxes here just still feel weird because i would have thought that you know the tax return is the government saying hey thank you for giving me all this money throughout this year that i've borrowed to run you know to run the country in certain in certain aspect when it comes to like road infrastructure like infrastructure those stuff and you know you have to understand like citizens tax money do a lot for both us both us you know we want better roads and it's our tax money that does that right but what the government does is like saying hey this is the pool of all the tax money thank you for giving me the opportunity to borrow it so in the next fiscal year i can pay you back what i thought is that i was gonna get back when i count up on all my pay stubs i was gonna get back every single dollar <laughs> so for the year if the government deducts say five thousand dollars for the year from every pay accumulation of every paycheck i thought yes i'm so glad for tax return because now i get back five thousand dollars no no you don't and i think that's stealing I, it's, it's just mind-blowing because i still don't get it like why the money you borrowed from me you didn't return that you know but as i said you know how uncle sam works but that was very strange for me and i don't think jamaica doesn't do tax returns so tax deduction or way less than here in the u.s you know because there's nothing to look forward to to say okay this tax that i took from you i'm gonna get it back there's no tax return system Th that i know of and I left Jamaica four years, five years, uh, four or five years ago. I, I really don't, there's a lot that changed, a lot that evolved and become new. So I'm not going to say they don't have that. I'm just saying based on what I knew at the time, I didn't know of that. But yeah, that's, that's one of my weirdest things, guys. And honestly, this video idea just comes up because like something happened and I'm like, whoa. It was the, the whole fruit tree thing. And I'm like, man, it's summertime now. You know, if I'm walking in Jamaica, I could get mangoes. I could get apples, pineapple, just anything. And don't think anybody's going to come and tell you, oh, get off my property. or called. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I have to. I'm sorry, guys. I said that was the last one. But this is this is going to be my last one. I promise you. There's, they're just coming to my mind right now. But this is going to be the last one. And this one is not even a weird thing this well in a sense it is and i'm gonna give you a two part to what i'm gonna say when it comes to cops here the weird part is neighbors will call cops on you for everything if you're a little too loud if you're a little too quiet if you're and it's kind of like my god i can't even mind my business without someone calling the cop because oh i didn't as i said it's a two part i didn't see my neighbor for three days okay thank you for being concerned and it's like can you even blame them because they're looking out for you but then they're calling the cops for you because if you laugh too loud oh she's disturbing my sleep and i work in the day and so no i work in the night so in the days i try to sleep and i mean it never happened to me but i've seen it happen before it's just like they will call the cops on you for anything 
But the thing I love about the cops is their response time compared to cops in Jamaica. Like if you call a cop right now, in the US you're getting a cop, a fire truck, and an ambulance based on the situation. Based on the situation, if it's not, because you know when you call the 911 um, dispense, dispense not, what's it called? Dispense, dispatcher. They ask you based on the condition because I had was to call 911 once only based on an accident that they see happen right in front of my high on the way from work. That was the only time I ever called 911. So I kind of have an understanding of some of the questions they ask. So, you know, if no one is not at risk, you're not at risk or anyone doesn't need help. If you don't think anyone need um, an ambulance or anything, they will always send it. If they don't need it, they send it back. But you have all three of them showing up the fire truck first. Normally for what I see them, the fire truck, the ambulance, the cop. You know, or any way around. In Jamaica, I have never seen that happen. You even call cops and they tell you, oh, my husband and whatever is fighting and, and something. And they're like, you need to sort out your relationship. Or they come and they just take it for a joke. Like, ah, y'all fight all the time. Why are you wasting my time? You know, like they kind of had, had that attitude. And I'm just telling you, that was some of the things that I see when I was there. Could have changed now they could have had more training more be more um educated on those stuff you know the second the second part of that is that saying people don't really call cops in jamaica people will and all right oh i'm gonna say this you can see someone got taken down right in front of your high and because of the informer mentality that most jamaicans have it's like i'm not an informer i'm not gonna say anything everyone just keep quiet and that gives the person that took that person down ammunition and more chances to do more stuff because nobody's gonna say anything you know because i don't want to be an informer and oh informer get d-e-a-d -E you know it's like the mentality of you not wanting to call a cop because you think your life is at risk is so it's so messed up and I'm so sad to say that I had that as well because you just grow up so so scared it's like yeah I don't want nobody coming at me because I was minding someone else's business you know like let them figure it out whatever the cops will reach there when they reach there you know but that's one of the things that's probably one of the best things out of the weirdest things that I've seen happen and it's not even weird it's just eye security and I like that about the US so I don't know let me know if you guys enjoy these contents as i said it just came to mind and I just say you know what let me pull this camera out and record this video to see if there's anyone out there who had these experiences or even thought that they were strange coming from a different island and you have to understand as an islander the fruits we need the fruit trees you know are you living in the tropical zone or anything but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video